Good morning. We are at Camp Giacomo Campground. Yeah, Giacomo Campground. Just outside of um, Lee Summit area. We came in after checking out the venue for the uh, Midwest Bushcraft Show. And uh, this is the spot they put us on. Literally no grass. <laughs> we could have camped in a parking lot. But we'd already paid $21 for this. And uh, unfortunately you have to pay before you can come in. <clears throat> At least that's how they made us do it last night. But the rest of the campground seems pretty nice. There's a park, showers, and stuff like that. Not really our jam, but it'll work. It was a good night. It's a good place to sleep. We uh, rocked out the Kelly Kettle last night for our, our mountain house meals. And uh, I'd say about 12.30, 1 o'clock. This crazy, crazy person kept walking back and forth, back and forth, dragging stuff. I don't know what's up with all the gravel and those nuts. And they were cussing. And, but up there is fairly nice. A lot of people up there. A lot of people here in general, but we're kind of away from everybody. Got the fire pit over there we weren't using. We're parked over here. All right. Get a cup of coffee on. Okay, so I added coffee straight to my kettle. I'm gonna let it boil for about another minute or two. And I put quite a bit of coffee in here. Um, I've always been told that if you let your coffee boil for like two or three minutes. It gets that coffee hot enough to release all the all the acid out of it. It'd probably be one of the best cup of coffee you've ever had. So this I have two kettles and this is a kettle that I'll cook stuff in. So we're gonna give it a go and we're gonna see see how it works out. I'm using chock full of nuts. So I have never actually done cowboy coffee this way. My grandma used to make it, my grandpa used to make it, but I never knew how to make it. And I could never figure out why their coffee was always so good. And when I, I did try something, something similar to it, man, it was horrible. I didn't know about the boil um, once you put your coffee in, and I didn't know about adding cold water. I had over years, I've watched videos, but I just never tried it again. So I'm giving it a go this time. We'll see how it works out. Might be the best coffee I've ever had in my life. I don't know. But we're rounding on our two or our three minute mark for the boil. You don't have to boil it that long. I'm just I'm just hanging out, kind of people watching. I'm not used to camping around this many people. <laughs> so we'll see how this coffee's going. All right, we'll let it sit for about another minute or so. I'm gonna pour some water and good stuff in it. I noticed the grounds around the top of the tea kettle. <laughs> I guess it's a coffee pot right now, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna pour a little bit of water down the spout here, just so you don't pour any grounds into your uh, into your actual cup. Pour some in there. I'm adding a quarter of a cup of water. See any grounds floating around in there, so that's cool. Let's give it a go and see if I 
completely screwed it up, eh? Oh, I don't see any grounds coming in it, do you? Ooh, it's got a nice thick color to it. Turn the camera out here for the first reaction on it. I, I guess it's very similar to the first bite rule. This would be like the first drink rule if you've ever made a cowboy coffee before. So, <laughs> oh boy, that is good, and it's it's rich, it's thick. And it's uh, it's not acidic at all. Really, really good. Mm. Okay, so I guess I would say I know why my people are doing cowboy coffee. Um, it's amazing. It's really, really good. Um, I've been spending a lot of time and and money on coffee filters and strainers and presses, which don't get me wrong, I do like to have a nice espresso or I do like to have a nice French press coffee, but this right here is, uh, if you like strong coffee, it's the way to go. Man. Okay, so this is the deal. I'm gonna challenge you guys. Throw a video out there of you making cowboy coffee. How you like to do it, what you like to do it for. Um, some people like to do it on their everyday morning. Some people like to do it only when they're camping. Some people like to do it on you know special occasions, whatever it may be. Get out there, make some coffee, and show me. I'm interested in seeing it. Uh, tag me in it, and uh, we're gonna do this to help promote the Midwest Bushcraft Show. Like I said, there'll be a video coming up on the Midwest Bushcraft Show, and I look forward to seeing as many people as I possibly can there. And uh, I'm just excited about it. I'm really excited about it. Because there's really more to the Midwest than, you know, than, than this. <laughs> know your campgrounds. Don't let them put you wherever they want to. Lesson learned. All right, guys. Take care.